and write that. P S Q. I noticed that S is in the middle. Class, what vocabulary word is that called? Vertex. The vertex. So I have the P. This is S. This is Q. And what letter am I missing based on the given information? R. R. So I'm drawing R over here. All right. So let's go ahead and write the. Now we're going to put this in a two column proof statement reason. I get really excited about proofs. All right, let's write down the given information. So I just have angle PSQ equals 40 degrees and also PSR is equal to 95 degrees. Okay, We call that given, given information. All right, number two. Let's go ahead and write now, um, let's use these angles. How can I add the smaller angles and the bigger angles? Tell me what to write. So angle PSQ plus angle QSR is correct, right? That's a small, and that equals what? PSR. All right, why? What does it cost? Angle addition postulate. Excellent. All right, now. Statement number three, what do I do next? Substitution. Substitution. So I'm just going to write this on my reason side, substitution. So class, what is PSQ? 40 degrees. So I have 40 degrees plus, so that's the unknown, right? Because that's what I need to find here. Equals what? 95 degrees. All right, what do I do next? Yeah, what was that fancy phrase we used over there? So I'm just going to learn abbreviate and you'll eventually pick up on what those mean. So I subtract here. What am I subtracting? Therefore, angle QSR. All right, let's go ahead and review this problem. I'm going to review this problem, angle addition positive, but I'm going to use a two-column proof. And we're not going to do two column proofs until chapter two. Okay, we still have another week and a half, but if I expose it to you early, it, it helps you guys. Okay? So, the first thing I'm going to do is write down the given information. Class, what do you write down first? So, the given information they gave me was measure of angle one equals 42 degrees. And they also tell me that the measure of angle ABC is equal to. 88 degrees. Okay. Always, always, always reason number one is given. Class, what's always reason number one? Given. You write down given information to you. Okay. You're just watching. You'll have time to copy later. Okay. The second step I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my picture and I notice that they give me a small angle here. They give me the big angle and it tells me to find the measure of angle 2. Well, I'm going to have to make some kind of equation. I'm going to have to make some kind of equation. Okay, Class, let's make an equation using the small angles and the big angles. What am I going to write? What's a small angle in this picture? Angle 1. So I have angle 1. And I'm going to add that to what? Angle 2. I know you were tempted to look for that third ray, right? There was no point there, though. And this equals what? What's the big angle? A, B, C. So, class, everything here in red, this represents what? Angle addition postulate. Everyone say that. I've added angles together to form a bigger one. The next thing I'm going to do is use my given information. Use my given information. What do you know about angle one here? Angle one is what? 42 degrees. So how do I put that in here? What is it, class? 
substitution. So you see here on the right side, I'm just writing down my reasoning, my explanation why. So I'm going to write there 42 degrees. Do I have angle 2? No, we don't. So I'm going to have angle 2. And angle ABC? 88 degrees. Notice how I highlighted that substitution in a different color. You can also do that for this one. Put a circle around it. Okay, that helps me visualize. I need to put this information for every time I see angle one. And last step, how do I get angle two by itself? Yeah, we call this subtraction. property of equality. So I'm going to subtract what on both sides? Yeah, we're going to subtract 42. What's left, class? Angle 2 equals 46 degrees.